That's a whistleblower's for a federal investigation. It's a jailhouse diary, computer use, PDF file, social media for social change. 07CF4988. I was kidnapped December the 24th, 2007. I was held for 186 days illegally. I need a federal and state audit from February, from January the 1st, 2008 to the present date. Shorty's Underground Rib Shack. The Baltimore Sun knew this and had this. The Baltimore Sun normally lied to the public. All right. I was making a movie and a documentary about Governor O'Malley and his mom machine. I was making a movie and a documentary. See the date? It's 2005. That's my store on Falls Road, Shorties. See what it says? Employees. That's the Baltimore Sun. I gave the Baltimore Sun this information. See that? That's my son, Philip. That's who should be running the store. That's from 2001. That's a Hollywood production, director, camera, date, art of getting money. That's America's prison industry. America's prison industry. Governor O'Malley's mom machine. Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, Governor O'Malley, and Chief Johnson. Commissioner Belfield, Commissioner Batts. Like I said, I filed a, 54, a $52 million lawsuit. We're going to take that to court again. That's the Supreme Court of the United States, 2007. I told y'all I was making a movie, Davis versus Illinois, all right? And we're going to take it to the Supreme Court. Feel me? I'm an indigent. Just because I don't have no money, just because I'm homeless, don't mean that you can deny me access to the courts. This was property stolen in 2007. That's a postal violations, a postal complaint, all right? From the Baltimore County Detention Center, because y'all stole mail from me. That's Jeff Majors. Shorty, pull your mask up? No. That's Jeff Majors. Jeff Majors and Shorty. Dick Gregory and Shorty. That's the Big Fat Morning Show with Shorty. Mark Clark, the Big Fat Morning Show. That's George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic. This is an email. That's Julian Jones County Council meeting about Scott Schellenberger issue. That's from the Department of Justice, Ashley. All right. Lands are from the Department of Justice, the dissent decree. All right. So y'all need to get this because it says right here, I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower in Baltimore County courts and the racism, white supremacy. And y'all got to address that because I was kidnapped. That's Adam May from Hearst Broadcasting. All right. We want to play that whole video for the for the voters. Marty Bass, Stein Sanders, Richard Share, certified mail receipts. That's what was on the toilet. Gigi Barnett, Mike Shue, your station, WJZ, and the Baltimore Sun lied to the public. Like I said, that's 2017. That's my lawyer, Mr. Bailey from Illinois. And that's Mr. Grant, the state attorney. All right. I filed for a dismissal. All right. President Obama asked for an investigation. Nobody wanted to do the investigation. That's Patrick Fitzgerald of the Department of Justice. Like I said, statement of facts, case number 0708. You got that? That's the Baltimore Sun, 2005. Y'all been protecting Governor O'Malley and white supremacy in the Democratic Party since I started this. I started this in 2006. Governor O'Malley approved a program. It's called Get Shorty. Now what you gonna do? It's 2022. It's been 15, 16. It's been too long for y'all to keep doing this. Eric Barron got my information. Johnny Oleski asked for an investigation. Adrian Jones been blocking it. The delegations from the Baltimore City and Baltimore County been blocking it. Y'all read the book, The New Face of Old Jim Crow? 
Well, I named the names of the politicians, the judges, and lawyers that get paid to lock up black Baltimore City and black Baltimore County. When y'all gave them vouchers to Baltimore County, and Arundel County, Harford County, Cecil County, your prison industry went up. Your school to prison pipeline been going on since the 90s. I came here straight out to Illinois Department of Corrections and I did the asbestos and lead in the schools. The black schools was left with broken boilers, no heat, no air conditioning, asbestos, lead, and mold. I put that on video and I blew the whistle on TNP Engineering because TNP Engineering got a lot of money off of that. You can contact the General Service Administration. TNP Engineering versus General Service Administration. I did the FBI building in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Wanamaker building. I also worked at Quantico. I worked at NSA. I worked at Fort Detrick. I worked at Fort Belvere. I was a project manager. So if you look at those toilets that I've been putting out, the toilet I put in front of the school board that Fern Shing got with the Baltimore Brew, that was about your school to prison pipeline. That was in 2010. Y'all didn't lock me up for that toilet. I put a bed post in front of the Basilica. The Catholic Church downtown, y'all didn't lock me up for that. Scott Schellenberger locked me up for that toilet in Towson because he got mad. You know what I'm saying? He got mad because I called him out on his racism. So in 2022, Eric Barron, you got my Department of Justice criminal complaint. You got to prosecute Scott Schellenberger or we go to the Supreme Court. You between a rock and a hard place and the Baltimore Sun... You wrote this apology for your racism in the past. What about your racism now? I don't get no justice. You don't get no peace. I'm getting ready to file criminal complaints against the Baltimore Sun, WJZ, and those 52 individuals that participated in this. Y'all seen me in Annapolis the other day. Art and activism. Ain't no law against making a movie. It's covered under the First Amendment of the Constitution. Check your Constitution. Check your toilets. I got everything I need in the toilets. I got the PDF files. I got the SD cards. I got hours and hours of Baltimore. Never bite the hand that feeds you. And I feed Baltimore. Everybody knows Shorty. And everybody gonna know the truth in 2022. I need a federal and state audit. From January 1st, 2008 to the present date. When you see that this money's been laundered through Virginia and Bank of America, SunTrust Bank, you're gonna see what they're talking about, the new face of old Jim Crow. These is my clients. That's Dick Gregory. That's Jeff Majors. That's Parliament Funkadelic. And that's 92Q. So what you gonna do? Shorty put your mask up? No. We're gonna play this. You feel me? We're going to play the tapes. We're going to get the court order. We're going to finish this movie. And we're going to use this as the first start. The Jailhouse Diary. 